So I'm going to put my G-Watch app on my new Samsung Galaxy um, 5 watch so that I can have my glucose reading be seen. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the Play Store and you want to download the G-Watch app. go and you're gonna to want to download it you're gonna to want to install the app on your phone there you go allow allow and let's see if we add watch face gonna tap on there my watch faces and we're gonna look for G watch and we're gonna search install it we have the app on our phone and we're also gonna have it on as a watch face on there so while that's that's installing we're gonna go ahead and put in or go to settings data source and Enable Dex come share, you wanna do that. You're gonna put in your login and your password on there. So go ahead and put yours in. Click OK. And you wanna tap on there and configuration apply. Make sure your password is correct, guys. And when you click OK, you tap, configuration apply. Let's make sure that our watch face is installed. And there we go. G Watch on there. We're gonna tap on there. You can customize that if you want to. And put different types, whichever one that you want. Enable alarm, enable you can enable different stuff on there. There we go. Lots of stuff you can play around with with on there. We're gonna leave it like this. Allow G Watch rare, blah blah blah. Allow tap. And now we have the screen. Let's take this out, take this out, tap on. This is the only thing I'm going to turn on on here. And everything is off here. There. So there we go. So I do have my readings right now. And let's see how correct that is. So if I open my Dex, my Dexcom, there we go. So it's working, 210, 210, so everything is working. On the new one, you don't have a lot of, you don't have the option to go and put all the stuff in there, like on the old one. So on the old one, you can see there's lots of option in there, but on the new one, for the, for the, for the, um, for the Watch 5, all the options to change everything on there is actually done on the watch. So you have to hold down, go in here, and right in there, you can customize whatever you want. So we tap, we tap, it goes down, customize, and then you can move down like this. Let's try this one here and tap that, and it does change. So that's how you do it. Tap and hold, customize, and you can look to see which one that you like. They're all dark. So I can go down. I think I like this one. Just like that. Um, let me see if I can go in. Let's see. I want to go in. Customize. Go across. Oh. So you can go across and probably take off some of those things. So you can see your battery setting here. And here you can enable different stuff. So enable song. Hyper alarm. All the stuff that you want on here fast draw and swipe across there is more stuff you can go and to dynamic range you can do your color so i guess you can tap there and change colors of different stuff go back and then you can go down high color you can change all that on there and go back tap on the screen there you go pretty cool it works guys yeah, but the main thing about about that app is that you want to make sure that you put in your exact 
Um, so this is the old one here. So we're gonna have to uninstall. I hope I uninstall the old one. And we still have this one here. So this is a new one. Widget for it. I'm gonna go to the widget area and go to G Watch. There's one so there it is. I'm gonna hold that and put that on my screen. Because I like having this on my screen. More information, you go in there. You can see my it's going down right now. So this is Charlie guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.